Hello, welcome back to Shit Rentals with your host, Purple Pingers. I'm here at 9 to 15 Palmer Street in East Melbourne. These tenants moved in a month and a half ago and I'll show you some footage uh, of what they moved into. This property is managed by Bell Property Armadale. At the start of the lease, Bell Property Armadale said that they didn't have the gas and electrical safety certificates, um, so that they were gonna get them done as soon as they could. Turns out they did have them. This switchboard looks compliant, but the electrical safety checks from 2022 and 2023 both say that the house contains cotton wire. Hey buddy. Oh, yes. Around four days after the tenants got the keys, the leak started. So it all started up here when the body corporate ripped up the waterproofing membrane above the tenant's house. Everything started leaking. They've since replaced it, as you can see. Um, however, and I'm adding side inspections here, you can see there's no fall. So the water's already pulling. It's been like a couple of days. There's the gutter. It doesn't go there. So anyways, they did a fantastic fucking job. This is non-compliant. The tenants took the agency and the landlord to VCAT and VCAT ordered in their favor. Since that VCAT order, instead of doing all the things that VCAT has ordered, the agencies evicted the tenants. Bell Property has evicted these tenants saying that the property is not fit for habitation. The evidence that they supplied was the electrical safety certificate or the electrical safety check, which detailed that, you know, the whole house needs to be rewired. Bell Property knew about this before the tenants moved in, as evidenced by the electrical safety checks and the gas safety check done in 2022. Bell Property has offered no compensation to these tenants and they're currently couch surfing at mates. The Victorian rental legislation has nothing to offer to help these tenants. They just have to kind of cop it, which is really not fair. If you know anywhere that's for rent near East Melbourne or wherever um, and can reach out, I'll chuck an email address somewhere here. I don't know, um, but please reach out to these guys. They're amazing, really lovely, um, and they just need a place to stay for them and their dog. Also, would you believe the stove's non-compliant? Also, there's no range hood, but there is a beautiful possum hole up there, and the extractor fan is that. I reached out to Bell Property and asked them the following questions. Do you believe the property met the minimum standards at the start of the tenancy? The tenants appear to have received an eviction notice very shortly after the tribunal found in their favor. Would you care to comment? And will the tenants be provided compensation for their current situation? Bell Property failed to respond to the first question, but did say this. The notice to vacat has been issued to the renters and not as a result of the initial VCAT hearing. And the renters are not paying rent, but are able to claim compensation if they want. So none has been provided to them. Ultimately, these tenants have been evicted because of an issue that Bell Property were aware of before they moved into their tenancy, and they are now forced to pay their own costs, even though their landlord couldn't fulfill their end of their fucking residential contract. This is a really poor state of affairs in terms of the Victorian residential tenancies legislation, and it really needs to be changed. Renters need to be offered compensation if they're kicked out of their home for no fault of their own. If you want to support what I'm doing, please feel free to buy some merch through my link tree, and um, Submit your review to the shitrentals.org website. Uh, it'd really help everyone out, not just me. Um, so yeah, let me know what you wanna see next or if you want me to come visit your place.